Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Andabil Easy Clip Car Mount. This is supposed to be a car mount that gives you sort of a heads up display. So we're gonna unbox it, put it in the car, try it out and see how it works. But there's already one downside that I know about this and that is this car mount actually uses double-sided tape to stick onto my dashboard. I never use double-sided tape on my dash or any place in my car. So we're gonna see how it mounts without it, but let's jump into it, try it out, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the box, and one thing I like about Andabil is they don't waste a bunch of money on packaging. So we can see here it says wide compatibility, one button release, 360 uh, free adjustment, and uh, yeah, so. That is about here. It says this is the model CTEZ11. So yeah, there we go. Uh, a little branding, that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing open. And it actually is taped up. So let me go ahead and uh, bring my uh, handy dandy knife open here and get that, get that thing opened up here so we can get this out and see what this is gonna look like. So uh, that's gonna be the base of it right there. And we're going to have these uh, these double sided um, these double sided Velcro sticker things that we are not going to use because I don't put those on my car at all. And um, I believe this is the aiming point right here. So this is going to help match up where you should put uh, that sticker. I'm not going to need this because well I'm not going to put the stickers on there. So this is a little. Uh, this is a little thank you card on there. Ask you if you're happy or not, and you can scan it. I guess I think to get your uh, to get some service or to get uh, uh, man get your warranty set up and whatnot. Here is uh, a welcome guide here. So there's that, and little packaging. Stick that over there, and then we have um, and then we have the mount here. So. Um, yeah, we can see this already has the Velcro part right there that's ready to go on there. I'm not sure if this is even going to work without, um, without actually using the Velcro. So it looks like the way this works, I think this is going to, uh, this is going to sort of mount right here. It's going to slide into the dash. This part here is going to be the extra part that, uh, if you had the Velcro on there, it would attach right there. So this would sort of slide on and then uh, attach. This would make it extra sturdy. This is rubberized so it doesn't scratch anything. I don't know how well this is going to work, but let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and fix the uh, phone mount up on here so we can get this part uh, set up and see if that's going to, uh, and see if it's going to work at all. So I think this might go in, uh, let's see here how this might work. I'm not sure. I think this, there we go. So that's going to lift up there and we'll just lock that down for the moment. Put that, I think that's going to go right there and then we will, I think this might go that way. So there we go. Now we'll go ahead and snap that in there as we can see and now we can go ahead and twist this right there to get this uh to get this locked in and make sure that's nice and sturdy so there we go now we have that and if you want to uh, close this you just push that there this if you want to open that is the one button uh opening right there you push that and that's going to open up right there and again push that to close it one button to open that up. So if you have your phone in there, you drop your phone right in there, close that up so it's nice and secure. And if you wanna open it, you hit that button right there and boom, it opens right on up. So, all right, there we have it. Um, and then you can loosen this up to, uh, to lower or uh, to, uh, I believe this is so that you can lower or raise that uh, this up right there so you get it where you want it in the right position. So. All right, now that we have this pretty much set up um, for as much as we can outside of the car, let's go ahead into the car, put this in there. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing in there and see how well this works without having to use those Velcro strips. I don't like those Velcro strips. I don't like anything that is semi-permanent in the car. If it was some sort of like, uh, you know, some of that removable sticky stuff, I would probably use that, And but I'm not gonna put any sort of permanent sticky stuff on my dashboard. So let's go get this set up in the car, see how it works. All right, so I'm in the car. Let's go ahead and check out this Easy Clip car mount that's sort of like a heads-up display and see what it looks like and how it's, uh, and how it's working out. 
All right, so here it is. And as we can see, it does fit on there uh, relatively easily. It was easy to get on. Now, here's the thing. Right here, this is normally where you would have a extra Velcro strip that uh, sticks onto, it's like a double-sided tape with Velcro, and you would stick it onto your dashboard. The other side would go under here to help maintain that more. I'm not going to put that on there because I don't like putting sort of permanent stuff onto my dash. Now, when you have this in the, uh, in the horizontal mode, it fits. Now, if I try and turn this in the vertical mode, it's not going to work because it's going to hit my steering wheel, as you can see there. So for me in the car, I'm going to have to maintain a, a horizontal uh, orientation. Now, if I wanted to lower my steering wheel, I could do that, and then I can have this in a, uh, in a vertical sense like that. But I don't particularly like altering the safety of my uh of my vehicle in the uh in my steering wheel position in order to um in order to maintain a uh an accessory there so yeah it's gonna have to stay in the horizontal position for me now i will say that um so far using this it's a little bit of a distraction um, you can see here, I'm, I have my camera like right at eye view and we can kind of get an idea that it blocks a bit here and it's, it's blocking a little bit more on the camera, but not a whole lot more. And if I go, um, you know, if I move back a little bit, that's probably closer to what I'm actually seeing right there when I'm driving. And that's more of a distraction than I generally like when I'm, uh, when I'm driving. Well, I'm back home here and I have to say the Andobil Easy Clip car mount, it's not for me. It's not that it's a bad car mount, it's just for me it didn't work out. One, it just doesn't give me enough clearance between the steering wheel and the mount. In fact, there were a couple of times where I was making turns and my hand actually hit the mount and that for me is a no-go. I don't want any sort of distractions or disruptions to my driving, my steering when I'm behind the wheel. Also, having the phone right there in front of me, right in my eye line, I thought it might be helpful so that I don't have to look away, but what I found out is that it was actually blocking my field of view a bit, and it was a bit of a distraction. So, this could be for you, it's just not for me. So, I'll leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out if you're interested. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts, so you can see the other products and services I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.